Today we're going to discuss certain things that ma'akev the teshuvah. What does it mean ma'akev the teshuvah? Certain things, sometimes a person in his life, you know, um, he could, heaven forbid, miss out on the tshuva. And what is that? So one of the main things that the Rebbe Renat says over here is a person, and this is famous, but a lot of other, he says 24 avirot. No, he writes over here that what the rabbis teach us 24 things Gemara in Yoma actually he's saying the reef in Yoma I, I, I take that back it's the reef in Yoma right Pehet page Pehet right it says over there there's 24 things that hold back Tshuva you want to hear all 24 it's a lot of them there's a lot of them so be, I'm, not, I'm not a majority each one is a separate thing first of all one of the things is you have to know is is a Baal Hema what's Baal Hema? a guy who gets very angry like a Baal Hema you know you ever see a person get angry like but constantly angry, angry 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 like one time three times five times like, whoa you know he's like an atomic bomb or well, she's an atomic bomb you know what I'm talking about <laughs> he or she huh it's called a Baal Hema. He's not just angry. He's raging. That's bad. Now you have to work on yourself. You have to work on yourself. One of the things that he writes is, Va Person thinks, you know, oh, big deal, so I'm friends with him. You, you, you're friends with Rasha? You're very friends with Rasha? You can't do that. All right? Ash- and I think the understanding to this is because if you're playing games and you're being friends with the Rasha, says, whoa, whoa, you think you're such a Sadiq that, that you're not, you're not going to fall to if you're staying next to the Rasha? Okay, let's see. Let's see if, if, if he, how you're going to make the Chuva over here when you're next to him. Another thing is, Haragil Beseuda Sheno Masapeket the Baaleha, which means you're not allowed to eat at a table. Let's say, for example, you come. You're in a, let's say, I would say like you're in a, uh, a vacation or something like that. And there's not a lot of kosher food. And you have your friend, you know. You know, he has like, let's say, let's say it's the last day of the vacation. He has one bowl. He has one bowl of, uh, I don't know, of chillin'. I don't know, give me an example. And it's kosher. Wow, sick. And you take half of it and, and, and you leave him nothing. No. He has to be able to be able to share. I mean, I'll tell you a standard example. I was at somebody's house many years ago. And it's a true story that happened. It was with me. Somebody invited me for dinner. I didn't know how poor they were. Extremely poor. But I got invited. Meaning to say, I, I got invited. So I'm sitting there. And they take out chicken. And this chicken I didn't like. You know, I don't like it with the, with the bones and the hair on top. You know what I'm talking about? You know, the skin is that. It's like, I was like, I can't eat this. I'm thinking my mind, I can't eat this. I really can't eat this. But that's all they had. So they look at me. How can we not eat it? We brought you to eat. Like, how can we not eat it? says, no, I don't like this. I don't like chicken, I tell him. What about turkey? I says, ah. He says, no, we have sliced, sliced turkey, like uh, deli. So, okay, you know, okay. They bring out the, the deli. And uh, I'm taking, like, one. And I'm putting it in my sandwich. I'm about to take, like, another two, three, like, slices. And all of a sudden, one of the kids on the table grabs one. And the other kid, his brother, says to, to him, my dear brother, you, you better not take one. We have just enough for tomorrow. Exactly. If every person have a slice, you better not take one. And I'm hearing this. It was with me. I heard this story. You know, Right away, I did not eat another piece. I just took one. I made a sandwich with it. And that's it. I ate that. Why? Because you see clearly it's not enough for the family. How could you take? That's what it means. So that must pick up all there. That's one. Another one is has to barayot. Looking at something improper, you have to be very, very careful with that. Especially if a person says, "Oh, what I do wrong? I didn't do anything wrong." It's wrong. Has You have to be very, very careful with that. You have to guard your eyes. Hundred percent. You have to guard your eyes. And this is probably the most famous one in the Mishnah of Yoma. It says, Haomer echte ve'ashuv. I'll sin and I'll repent. Then already this is a big avon. In this situation, and mespikin the yadu lasa tshuva. Or a person says, I'll sin yom kippur me'haper. Has v'shalom. You can't do these things. Another strong one is, if if you see a person sees a child, 
he sees a child that he's maybe going off the derech, doing things. He has to find ways, and he has to put his foot down. This is he's not doing that. You have to know how to do it in a small way, but you see a son going off the derech, and you just let him go without doing something. Has shalom. This is already a very big, big, uh, big item over here. I'll say, I'm going to say the last one, I'm going to say all 24, I'll say the last one is Hamal'ig et mitzvot, which means you're making fun of the mitzvot. Ah, what are you doing? You're sitting and learning? Ah, what are you doing all day? Come, do this, that. You're laughing on mitzvot? That already is a very big, big item. Oh, guys, ah, you're giving, you're giving charity to this. Ah, you're wasting your money. Whoa. Be careful not to laugh on a person who's doing a great mitzvot. Okay.